Hello everyone, my name is John Bussart. I'm an HP Solution Center engineer for Ingram Micro. I help support servers, blade systems, storage, as well as networking technology solutions from HP. In this series of videos, we're going to explore the ProLiant Gen 9 line of systems. And what I like to do in my videos is I like to show you a slide from a popular PowerPoint and then explain to you what that means within the management interface. Today, I've chosen a BL460C Gen 9 server blade. This is certainly a workhorse server blade that's out there, a very popular blade. The BL460 line is, is what a lot of people use inside their compute environments. Um, if you're not familiar with what blade systems are, um, on the right hand side on the top would be a blade enclosure. And that blade enclosure is holding 16 BL460C Gen 9 servers. And they, actually, each blade is listed on the right on the bottom image. So you can put 16 of those. So it's a further way to be able to consolidate an infrastructure down and reduce the management complexity within the environment. And then we've managed these blades remotely in much of the same way we would do a traditional server, um, but there's a little bit more of a, 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 an onboard administrator that you use to access the ILO graphical user interface. And if you want to know a little bit more about the ILO graphical user interface, um, I suggest looking at some of my other videos that I've created. So blade systems, even though they're smaller, um, we're not necessarily losing functionality. Each one of these blade servers, if you're familiar with HP product, um, this BL460C would be like a, a DL360 um, server or like a uh, DL380 server. And you still get a, a, a pretty much the same type of extension capabilities um, you know, through a variety of mechanisms, um, you know, blades that can be side carded on this blade or even on board solutions. Um, for example, um, the system itself comes with two network adapters on board, but it has what's called mezzanine slots that allow us to do further expansion capability. So inside these mezzanine slots, we could add things like, like um, fiber channel storage controllers, um, InfiniBand connections, SAS connections, a whole variety of things we can add to further expand our environment, which, which is up to and including um, things like extra 10 gig network adapters if you wanted to. All right, so that's what a BL460C Gen 9 server is. Let's go and look at unboxing this solution. Okay, this is the box that our BL460C Gen 9 server comes in. Um, I have opened it up and looked at it, the insides or the contents of it, um, but I've put everything back in, so this should be the experience you get when you open up a box. All right, so let's take a look on the inside. Over here, there's what little bit of documentation comes inside the box. Pretty much a start here guide, which gives you some links to HP site, as well as a safety and compliance and warranty information sheet. We'll remove this little piece of cardboard. And now we'll take out the server itself. And just so we have a place to view it, let's close this back up. Right, so we have some packing material that we need to remove. And then the server itself is wrapped in some cardboard. So let's unwrap the cardboard here. And then we can see the anti-static packaging on the inside. Okay, here's the blade server itself. Um, one thing I'd like to note is on the cover, is um, some handy information on location of components and connectors on the inside and everything's labeled real nice. On the back of the blade server, you'll see this protection um, kind of orange cover for the backplane connector and that's where the power goes in and that's where kind of the data flows in and out of, of this device. If we look on the front, we will see that there's a, a couple hard drives, spot for a couple hard drives. Um, here is the ILO information and your serial number as well as the crash cart cable right there. There's also some information here 
about updating your firmware to the latest code. And I think what they list here is 4.3, but I'd recommend always going to the latest. I think that's the latest. Let's take that and let's place this down here. And let's open up our blade server. So it opens up right here. You press down this button, push back. The top comes off. If we flip over the top, and you turn it around a little bit. They also give you some handy information on how the memory is configured within the system. Okay. We'll remove the memory baffles. So the baffles are there to maintain proper airflow with inside a blade server. So airflow is very important because we're condensing um, the compute power which are, of what we find in traditional servers within this little area. So there's very specific patterns in which the memory and excuse me, the air wants to flow through the device. Right? So we can see our, our memory slots here. Right? This side would be for one processor and the other side would be for the other processor. This would be the RAID controller inside this unit. One of the nice things about this RAID controller, it's completely toolless. Um, with Generation 8 servers, um, you can remove in much the same fashion, but they gave you an Allen wrench to help remove it as well. Um, that was found inside the case. But at any rate, with this Generation 9 server, it comes right out. This RAID controller is an H244BR controller. And back over here are the mezzanine slots as well as the flex LAM adapter. So flex LAM would be flexible LAN on motherboard. Um, you have the ability to swap this out for whatever you need within your environment. Um, to swap this out, you pretty much pull back over here, lift that piece out. And this is the same way you did it kind of in a, in a Generation 8 server. And then you pull up on this and your controller will come out. So this is a a dual port 10 gigabit adapter. So if I wanted to replace it with, with the new um, 20 gig adapters, two port, dual port 20 gig adapters, I could do that if I felt like it. All right, so again, that's the flex alarm card for blade server. Some other things that I, I'll, I'll point out as a part of our tour here is um, over here is the micro SD card slot. So if you want to boot your VMware server um, from an SD card, you could put it in here. Um, up front here is a, a connection for our drive if you weren't using a RAID controller. Here's the battery connection. If my RAID controller had a battery connector, that's where a battery that I needed, I'd plug it in there. Um, here's a USB port. So if I want, again, I wanted to boot my ESX server um, from, from USB, I could plug it in there. And over here is the solid state drive connector. Right, so it's pretty simple to take apart. Um, let's put it back together real quick. The RAID controller goes in, it's, it's a little interesting, it kind of fools you a little bit, you just kind of have to set it in there and lower it on the handle and it kind of pulls itself right back in. Let's put back on the front memory bezel. And let's put it back on the back memory bezel. And notice there's like a little cradle here for a USB stick when it gets installed. And we can put it back on the cover. And they were all set. So that was a quick tour of a BL460C uh, Gen 9 server. I hope you found this video informative and please stay tuned for more videos.